Coming up on May 10th, we are so excited. The Newsboys are coming to New Orleans. It's been a long time since they've been to New Orleans, and we are going to pack out Victory Church for the Worldwide Revival Nights, and we'll get to see this guy performing on stage that night. We've got Adam Agee with us. How you doing, Adam? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. So you are the, the newest member of the Newsboys, but you're not new to Christian music by any means. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm the new guy. I guess it's been uh it's been about a year and a half of officially being a newsboy band member, which is kind of still weird to say. But uh I've I've not only known those guys for almost 20 years, uh and we did a we did a tour with them back in the day, but our band started um back in what my kids call the the late 1900s and so i've been playing music at a band called stellar cart for years and we actually opened for newsboys on the go tour in 2007 and then uh staying for audio adrenaline for a little while did a solo thing and then now i'm uh, actually playing with these guys i was on tour with them for uh six or seven years previously leading up to this uh with whether it was with different bands or whatever but uh also speaking on behalf of the the whatever sponsor was out there with us um but yeah open it up and so got to know the guys and yeah i guess half of the half the the deal is chemistry on the road and we all get along really well it's like just a bunch of brothers out there and and fit in really well who's the worst brother oh my goodness that's a that's a horrible question to ask no, no, I'm, I'm just kidding no no we we want nothing but good that's um <laughs> i we can get I mean, into that later I'm, we're probably, I may be a couple years older than you. I remember Stellar Cart, loved you guys. We had uh, ChristianRockRadio.com for a time during the like turn of the millennium and blasted you guys a lot. I thought your Audio Adrenaline album was spectacular. You had the unfortunate duty of following up after K-Max was the front man for Audio A. So it was just like, what is happening with Audio Adrenaline? But it was great. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. I know it was, uh, we tried our best and and... You know, the purpose, as I'm sure you know, was to try to raise money for uh, the Hands and Feet Project down in Haiti. Yeah, Haiti, yeah. So that, that begs the question, you've gone from Stellar Cart to Audio A to the Newsboys. Um, who are you taking over next? You Are you replacing Bart and Mercy Me? Or no, are you no. headed to Casting Crowns? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. You never know. I, uh, there's, <laughs> I guess I'm just leaving leaving a wake here in Christian music, so we'll, we'll see what happens. No, this is my last stop. So if this uh, <laughs> if this doesn't work out, then uh, then I'll uh, I'll go do something else. But uh, no, this is awesome. This is this is a dream come true. Honestly, it's it's been it's been amazing so far. Uh, learning thirty five songs because we're doing a uh, our show is basically an evening with Newsboys, and so going through all the back catalog and learning a bunch of songs. And yes. I'm playing I'm playing bass on a bunch of songs. I'm playing electric guitar on some songs. I'm playing acoustic guitar on some songs. I'm singing some songs, and so it's been uh, it's been a wild ride getting uh, getting all these songs learned. But now we're in the fun zone where we can just have a great time on the show, and we're writing a bunch of new songs. Our new record is just absolutely incredible. So I can't wait for you guys to hear that too. Yeah, is the record also called Worldwide Revival? It is called Worldwide Revival. Yep. Awesome. What do you have a favorite song on that? Is it the title track? Title track is pretty, it's pretty awesome. I mean, yeah. it's it's definitely, it's it's a little bit of a throwback kind of style, which yeah. of course I love. And I, I think I, I, it sounds like you would love as well, just being in, in the industry for so long. It's, it, it's really a nod to all the great things about uh, Christian music and trying to trying to recapture that spirit. Uh, and it's a rock song, which I love. So it's, it's great, but man, we got some, Got some really killer, killer new tunes. That's awesome. Uh, let's let's talk about some of the the tunes that you've got to cover in this tour since you're playing, you know, forty years worth of music. Because the Newsboys, they're as old as me almost. <laughs> they're yeah, they they they've uh, been around a while. We've got three basic Newsboys eras, of course. We've got the classic Australian Newsboys era. Then we've got the Michael Tate era of God's Not Dead, and then this new record, I really feel like, is launching another new era of the Newsboys. So I want your favorite song from all three eras. We'll, <laughs> we'll start with the the old school, like, you know, Not Ashamed, Shine, Take yeah. It Spender. Like, what, what, what's the classic that you love playing? Oh, man, that's that's a tough question because it's, it's so good. I was out on the road with with those guys whenever they did the United tour mm -hmm. a couple years ago when Pete and Phil came back and they did a full on 
uh, part of the show where they played like eight or nine of those old school songs from all those different records. And I was just like, dude, this is taking me back to youth group. I had those yeah. posters on our youth group wall and everything. It was really cool. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we do a little, a, a little mini like acoustic kind of throwback set uh, right now. And one of the ones that is still, it's crazy to see is, the wacky song breakfast it's just it's wild and it's it's yeah. kind of insane and i still don't understand it completely but i love playing it I'll, I'll actually i'll play the song for our life songs audience here in just a minute it's the weirdest christian song ever released <laughs> it's so odd and so special and yes, yeah people go nuts like all of us old school newsboys fans whenever you guys play it we go nuts not because it's the best song ever because it's not but because it's just a moment in our life that was just so wonderful. Exactly. That's what, that's exactly what I call it. I call it a moment in time that is just unexplainable, but people connected with it and they yeah. still, they still love it. People still bring Captain Crunch boxes to newsboys shows, even though it's like <laughs> totally banned because the, I, I think for years they had you know, hundreds or thousands of those boxes and they would spray the Captain Crunch in the air. And then once that mixed with water, it turned into concrete. And so they got, they got in trouble at all these <laughs> venues, but uh, man, it's, it's still wild. Yeah. All, all right. right. Next, <laughs> next era. We're talking once Michael stepped in and we got the God's not dead era. What's your, what's your favorite? Yeah. Um, I, I really think they came out of the gate swinging with uh born again. Yeah. I think that song is like, it's a great rock song. It's a, it's a, it sounds like, just a super cool current rock song at least at the time and it's like man this is i like it yeah so that's right and it's, and we still play it in set and it's still people still love it so I, I like that one a lot you guys are doing kind of an interesting slow release of the two-part new album and i listened to a few of the tracks um getting ready to to hang out with you and i gotta say the new album worldwide revival it, the word that comes to mind is triumphant. Like it sounds like a victory lap. It's so good. Oh man, that that, that means so much. Thank you very much. Um, it's we. I personally wrote thirty five or forty songs for this this album, and and Michael Tate uh, has been doing a bunch of writing. We've written a bunch of songs together. We got together with some of the best writers uh, that we know. We've known guys for years now and so we get to kind of pick and choose and then we've gotten with some other guys that uh are just amazing and so to to find some of these songs and to be able to we have it's been painstaking it's been one of the, the toughest writing processes i've done in my entire career just because of how many people are involved and how just meticulous it is trying to get every lyric right trying to get every little vocal part right trying to get every guitar sound right um, and so it has been poured over. It has been really uh, fine-tuned as much as we can. Um, and there's been a lot of care put into it. You, anytime you, you like you're like you're saying it, it does feel like a new, a new launch, a new era of Newsboys. And so you want to come out the gate uh, with something great. And I, I really do think we've got a couple of great songs. Um, and this this first this first half of the album is. is Stacked, I think, in my opinion. Um, so, man, I, I'm glad you got to hear a couple of tunes. I can't wait for the whole world to hear it. Yeah, it's, it's great. Everyone's going to love it. And I can't wait to hear it live on May 10th at Victory Church for Worldwide Revival Nights. Adam, what does, not not the tour, but what to you does a worldwide revival look like? Like, what's the hope that comes barreling out of this experience? Yeah, I think that's the word. I think the word is hope. It's it's trying to trying to give people just a renewed sense of purpose and a renewed sense of hope. I think, um, I mean, I've noticed it just in my own circle and even in my own family that uh, people going through the pandemic. I mean, there was a lot of a lot of hard time and a lot of I don't know. Just it, it's people are are dealing with a lot of stuff right now. There's a lot of things yeah you know, that are that are making life difficult and it's, and it doesn't get easier when you go just look at your phone for hours and hours and hours. And so I think revival is just a way to try to experience God on the level that he just wants us to be with him. He wants us to be with him all the time. He wants us to experience him on a, on a completely different level than, than 
we, we get to a lot of times. And so it's just an encouragement to try to help people turn back to God or just deepen their relationship with God. And, and we got to use uh, some Billy Graham sermons in one of our little teasers for our, our new song, Heaven on Earth which just kind of gives me chills because that you talk about revival. I mean, the guy was leading crusades and stadiums and it was just, man, what a cool, what a cool time. And so we want to try to capture that excitement um, of, yeah, like, like God is, God is awesome and he's cool and he wants to, he wants to give you the best, the best life possible. He wants to work out things, you know, for your good and, and just remind people of that, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's, we're just trying to help people, we're, we're trying to point people to God and trying to get people excited and, and reignite whatever fire hopefully was, was in them before, or if it, it never has been, then, you know, check this out. This is the most amazing thing in the world. Hmm. That's awesome. Heaven on earth is the new single, right? What's the story behind the song? Oh uh, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's kind of our lead, our lead song because it, it really encapsulates this whole, this whole album uh, lyrically. It's, it's, we're trying to bring, heaven to earth right now it's not waiting for eternity to hang out with god it's like he wants us to start eternity right now and mm -hmm. so we get to be with him and actually it's a cool story when i first uh we were doing a private event with uh tate and myself at his house and uh michael w smith was there and we wow, just that kind is of the set up for like the ultimate ccm joke <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 it's not a, it's not a joke it's actually amazing um, we, uh, we, we did a little private event and we played some songs and, and we told him you know, before anybody else knew, Hey, I'm going to join the newsboys. And he was just excited. Cause we, we've done some tours together and played golf and everything. And, uh, he texted you, me a little you, later. You golf with Smitty for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm a big golfer. I'm golfing with Toby tomorrow. Actually, we're playing, uh, here in Nashville tomorrow. So yeah, we play all the time. I, why is there not like a, like a pro-am? with just like Christian artists, this needs to happen. You know, they, they used to do it. They used to do a tournament. Uh, DC talk, Michael Levy Smith used to do a tournament every year. And I don't know why they, they don't do that anymore, but stupid pandemic. I don't know. Exactly. But anyway, uh, so Smitty texts me later and he's like, he's like, Hey, Adam, super excited for you, whatever. And he's, and his last little phrase was, uh, bring a little kingdom down to earth. Mm. Yeah. And only the way he can say it, which is amazing because he's, he's awesome, but that kind of stuck with me. And so this, this heaven on earth uh, idea is, yeah, let's just, let's bring the kingdom down to earth and, and just show people what it can be. Very awesome. Well, Adam Ag of the Newsboys and Stellar Cart and Audio Adrenaline and probably Mercy Me eventually. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has been awesome hanging out and chatting with you and we're so excited about the tour again May 10th Victory Church ticket info is up at lifesongs.com this will sell out do not miss it we're gonna have a great time um, Adam thanks for taking some time hey Josh thanks for having me on man